Beloved of God in Christ, grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. My name is Matt Larson. I'm one of the assistants to Bishop Hassan Ali in the Southeastern Minnesota Synod of the ELCA. I'm grateful for the chance to be with you all today. Uh, I'm recording this on Monday, but it will air on Tuesday, November 3rd. And that's a significant day for those of us in the United States. It's Election Day. And there is uh, a lot of anxiety, a lot of consternation, a lot of worry and trepidation that many of us are feeling going into that day. So on this occasion, I want to offer uh, a couple of thoughts and then a verse from Scripture. Both of the thoughts um, have to do with German words. And I want to I want to begin this by saying that I uh, I do not speak German. I don't read German. I studied German for many years uh, in the hallowed halls of Hudson High School where uh, I had my primary education. Uh, Herr Schubert was the German teacher. Frau Huftel and Herr Schubert were the folks that tried to teach me German. Um, they were better teachers than I was a student and uh, I I don't remember much, so please understand that I'm not pretending like I know German well here at all, but there's these two German words that, uh, that I think apply here. The first of those German words is schadenfreude. Schadenfreude, and that, what that word means, some of you might know it, but what that word uh, can be translated into is um, joy in someone else's suffering. Uh, being glad that somebody else is miserable. However, the election turns out uh, today, I, I think the best outcome to be hoped for is that there is a clear and decisive victory uh, for one side or the other, whichever that is. But what that's going to mean uh, if the best happens, or even if it's close and it takes a while to get all this sorted out, uh, there are going to be people who are going to be ecstatic at, uh, at the way the election goes, and there are going to be people who are distraught at the way the election goes. And I think it's really important for us all, both as Christians and as citizens, to commit ourselves to not rejoicing in anybody else's unhappiness, rejoicing in anybody else's suffering. Schadenfreude is, is never a good look. It's not something that we should revel in. So that's the first German word. The, the second German word that I want to offer as something to think about in the midst of all this is Schwärmerei. Schwärmerei. Um, Schwärmerei is a, is a word that comes from uh, early Reformation history. Uh, Martin Luther was hard on people who were Schwärmerei. Uh, what Schwärmerei means is enthusiasts, people who uh, were motivated by emotional appeals and who let their, their feelings run wild uh, and got all passionate about stuff without being reflective or thoughtful or grounded in scripture and theology and common sense. And the reason that I have Schwärmerei in mind uh, as pertains to, to this election is that passions are running so very high right now. Uh, feelings are running so very high. And I, I think it's important for us as Christians and as citizens to commit ourselves to not letting our passion, our feelings, um, carry us away. Uh, we feel what we feel. We are legitimately, passionately concerned about the issues that we're concerned about. But those feelings, those passions, those enthusiasms don't have to control us. We have a choice about how we choose to act. Uh, and it's important that we choose to act based on our values, our, our Christian values as people of faith and our shared civic values as citizens. So however today goes, don't rejoice in anybody else's unhappiness. And as we sort out whatever outcomes there are, don't let your, your enthusiasms run away with you. I think those are both ways that uh, things can go wrong in the midst of this. 
the scripture verse that I have in mind comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, which is kind of a long chapter, and it's verse 58. Therefore, my beloved, be steadfast, immovable, always excelling in the work of the Lord, because you know that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. I guess the, the thing out of that, that that really kind of appealed to me as something for us to reflect on is that idea of being steadfast and doing the work of the Lord because we know that our labor is not in vain. Just um, calm down. Don't give in to your baser emotions and do things like rejoicing in other people's suffering. Don't let your enthusiasms run away with you and lead you to do things that are shameful and damaging to the body of Christ uh, or to the body politic of which we are a part. Uh, be steadfast, immovable, always excelling in the work of the Lord. This is a time for us to lean really hard into our Christian values, into our Christian way of not, uh, not claiming to have all of the answers that everybody else just has to get on board with, but rather being able to ask um, questions, being set free by God's love for us in Christ to ask questions like, how ought a person of faith to respond when things don't go the way that they want? Um, how uh, am I to act in light of all of this? And most importantly, with a tip of the hat to the ELCA statement on civ or social message on civic engagement, um, how in my actions is my neighbor being served? I am I just worried about me getting my way and things going the way that I want, or am I committed as a person of faith, as a Christian, to worrying about what my neighbor needs as well. Be steadfast. Be steadfast. It's going to be okay. It has been. It will be. Peace be with you now and always. Do not be afraid, but be steadfast. Thanks be to God. Amen.